blind as a bat. I know. <laughs> Here. Yeah, it's great. All right. Great. Hey, everybody. I'm going to quick, quick draw a light. Oh. Three, two, <laughs> one. Is it? Did we come on yet? Yes. You know, what do we, you know, people get used to like an introduction to a show, right? That's okay. why everybody's got their like, their little theme. You know, they do five shot, all that stuff. And they got a little catchy theme. Some people go three, two, one, we're live. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Some people, so, you're talking about Joe Rogan does hey, that. No, no, no. What if they go, uh, what is it? Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the six o'clock evening news. I'm Walter Conkright. Concrete, 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 con. I'm not gonna tell you his name. Walter. Cr. Cron. Cron. Kite. Kite. That's what I said. No, it's not. Concrete. <laughs> Randy Concrete. Walter Concrete. I haven't seen him since I was six. Oh my God. We used to watch him all the time. Yeah, good evening, everyone. My name's Randy did, Jones, and I'm with Incredible Tiny Homes in Newport, Tennessee at 327 Because that? that's what you do on the radio. <laughs> <clears throat> Everybody. Everybody, welcome to Incredible Tiny Everybody. Homes. Everybody. Uh, rock your body. It's just a, you know. God, I love to dance. I haven't danced in a long time. <clears throat> have at it. We got an hour. I got to have some music, man. Hey, uh, we're going to show you a molten house. It's dark. It's a molten house. It's dark because Amanda couldn't get her tail over here soon enough. I've been waiting and waiting. Yeah. yeah. But but I've been working a little bit in between everything else I did today, talking to customers and writing checks and everything else. But a foam house is going. Uh, we're going to have, we're leaving out tomorrow about noon mm -hmm. to Portland. Um, I thought we were leaving out early, early, but it, stands we're not leaving and so i'll get some i'll get some time in the morning to work and get straightened out but so it's just good uh but the home is doing really well i'd like to show it tonight if we can we got a lot to show you we got uh the molten house we got four or five homes leaving sunday that homeowners are actually coming up coming to get their homes which is super unusual to that yeah good. we've never had that kind of homes yeah. leaving especially homeowners coming and getting that many yeah um i wish they could all leave at the same time like race into the gate who can get out the <laughs> gate fast now <laughs> Um, but we'll have doing that. There's gonna be four of them. Four. So we want to show you um, and some homes inside. I've been wanting to show you. And also, if we get time, uh, the two ladies that are living in their off-grid eight by twenty-eight craftsmen, big craftsmen, right down there, right next to the prairie. We kept them on the concrete on our on our compound here, and uh, they're off-grid, and they're painting and staining the inside. I thought you guys would like to see, talk to them, ask them questions, and them tell you their story, where they're at, what they're doing to their home. I know you guys want it really here, and I can't wait till everybody lives in our, our tiny home parks. We're going to have so many stories to tell. There's so many lives that are going to be coming here that have got a story of how long they've been, what have they been doing, how they get here, where they're going. So we're, this year is going to be massive when it comes to these parks getting done and people moving in. So there's, I feel like this is the calm before the storm. Yeah. Our financing is probably going to be coming through here probably tomorrow when we leave. But it'll be here or early next week. That'll be coming in. Our parks will be completed. Uh, we started putting the uh, underlayment down and the gravel in our parks. We got 72 home sites in the forest. We got 36 on the beach and we got 50 on the prairie. And I think there's only what two or three left. Right. Two or three home sites. If, I mean, they may already be gone. Yeah, in the prairie. Mm -hmm. So we have had just great response across the street. We got 40 home sites projected. We've got about 16 to 18 homes that have been called for over there. Um, your what? I don't know what's wrong with your volume or if it's me here. I tried to put, I put new batteries in this thing. And this is the volumes all the, show which way, where does it say yep. the volume? You got it all the way up. up. It's all the way up, okay. Yeah. It's doing all it can do. Can you all hear me? Yeah. The, um, Maybe I can put it closer. There's only one person that said that. How about if I hold it like that? No, just no? put it back on your shirt, you're good. We better hurry. All right, I gotta get going, everybody. Yeah. All right, let's go. I want to show you this house. It just gets dark on us, man. I know. Uh, I'll just point out really quick, and you yeah. guys that have, don't watch our videos, it's the first video. 
This is a wood siding that comes with the house. This is a board and batten siding. This is a lap horizontal siding. On our homes, we do not finish the outside unless you want it finished. We can paint it, urethane it, but in the base price that we offer online, you can go to our website, it does not include finishing the outside. Now we do caulk it and prepare it so it doesn't get wet on the way to where you're located, okay? Now that's a dormer. This is a freedom style home. It comes with a dormer. It comes with a legal egress window. Mm -hmm. So you can get out of that thing if something ever happens. This little pipe right here, that is a breather for your sewer. Normally they come out of the roof of the house. Mm -hmm. I don't like perforating the roof, so I always come off the side. We decorate them up a little bit. And this is what we call a regular dormer. That That's we a regular dormer. It's offset back up on the roof a little bit and you have a gutter that goes all the way across. Yep, that's a regular dormer. <clears throat> and then we have anything, a... Just, a, just a note, anything that you're showing, don't put the light right on it. You can't see it. Just kind of put it toward around it so it glows around. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> it's all. Hey, and this is Susie's other house. The other one was the salt box. So this is her house. Ahmed's the kit is leaving Sunday. And whose is the other one leaving Sunday? You got me, man. Oh, I can't. I love it. I love that I got people doing stuff I don't know about. I love it. Yep. So I don't know. I don't know the fourth Amber, one. Amber, she's on here. She knows. Yep. Good. Davidson. It takes a team to run all this, everybody. Yeah, it does. So all I'm right. really excited. We got a great We got a great team. People are really rolling. These are picture windows that we put, and that's the kitchen. I think we showed this the other night, didn't we? This is the one that we've been <clears> trying <throat> to show that we've been trying to get into in the corner. Remember, okay. it was always locked. Yep. Here, let me just set the light on the inside. Like Amanda said, don't shine it straight on. You can't see it, Randy. I, I, Go ahead, Amanda. Mm -hmm. I'll come up there and... I'll bring up the rear. How big is this, Amanda? I think it's an 8 by 18 right? Uh, yeah, 8 by 18 Now, this is crazy 8 by 18 Yeah. All right. I'm going to whip out my tape measure. Can you see that all right? Yeah. Is that all right? Can yeah. you see? All right. So, on an 8 by 18 I'm blinded. Is it till dark? Is it, can you see? It's fine. All right. Bathroom in the back. I know you guys all want to see. This has got a 36 inch shower in the back. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. You can't I really know, you see. Can't see. I know. You can't see. Let's just show some highlights of it. All right. There's the sink. I don't, wanted to definitely. Don't point it right at it, Randy. See how you act? Yeah. Don't point. See, you can't. It's a glare. The glare. Let's try it again. And now I've got the camera a different way. So the. Where's the kids? Right here. You go. I'm going to look down. <laughs> okay. That is cute. Look at her little bucket. Who would ever watch this show, no, man? I didn't watch it. No. That's the same. It's aggravating to watch this show. Stop. Look. If you did it like that. Well, let me hold it. How's that? <laughs> Perfect. Indirect. I always love indirect. indirect. Lighting. I don't like a light that's straight on. And look, look at that. What is that? What What's that pipe? That? What's that pipe hanging out over? That's for the toilet. You know what? I'd paper. catch my shirt on it, getting up off the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'd get off the toilet, get my get my loop hung on my britches, and pull them plumb off me. God, I know that would happen. <laughs> well, I can't step on her. Hey, that's a two dirty. roll toilet paper. A you two know? roller. That's a toilet. There's a toilet. Why are toilet? All right, let's go. Okay. You're wasting time, man. I'm just asking. All right, how's that in there? Wow. Watch the, the work. Oh, look. Okay, so she's got her little. Hey, it's like a Halloween show. Ah! Except it ain't Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> okay. I do like the two small kitchen sinks um, on each side that she's done. Two small kitchen sinks? Yeah. What There's only one kitchen sink in here. I mean, this is the kitchen. That's the kitchen. Two small kitchen sinks. I mean, two kitchen areas. Two kitchen areas. Areas. Yeah, so you got, well, I like this big window right here. Oh, God, yeah. And then over here, you got your shelves. Yeah, exactly. And you told about the range. So this is, um, wasn't this the same style she had in the other one? Yeah, that's what I said we've been here before. Oh, it, this ain't the same one. It sure looks like it. <sighs> there's your mini split. You can't see nothing in here. Isn't up. that cool that there's so <laughs> many tiny homes can't remember where they come from? Can't keep track. <laughs> They're sprouting. <laughs> <laughs> And there's our flip-up table. Oh, well. Right here. <laughs> indirect, indirect, Randy, indirect. We can't see it. 
Indirect. No, put it straight up. Too what? much glare. <laughs> How's that? How's that? Can you see it? Ish. Ish. I can see it. It's showing underneath it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what? How's that? God, you're Man. annoying. I'm Dude. annoying. Oh. Dude, he said the smoke detector. Gone. <laughs> Gone. Too dark. Can't see. Can't smell. Can't walk. God. It's awful. I can't see to get out. I hate this. Oh, I hate this. I hate you. Remember, remember uh, old Homer Simpson said, well, I hate church. She said, we're going to church. She said, well, I hate church. Yeah. Simpson. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm on fall. What uh, what what wasn't it Sling Blade? I hate you. I hate you more. No, I don't. No, Linda, no, Linda, I love you. <laughs> Linda, what? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, Linda. Oh God, get us out of here. We gotta do something else. Look over. There's the, the flames of hell. <laughs> There's the burner. Amanda, That's the new stove. Amanda's brother is working, and he comes in the evenings and burns our scrap. Yeah. Now, he won't be burning much when it starts getting cold, but we wouldn't believe the scrap lumber we come up. And it's little scrap. It's not ones that you can use. Yeah. It's like just slivers. Of, I mean, there's tons of them. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Amanda, we might as well get in the... Do you want to go see the ladies, or well, do you want to go in the shop? We need to go in the shop Let's and go. show those houses. Let's go in the shop. Look at how these are all lined oh up. Oh my gosh, it's a wall of tinies. Yep. Oh my goodness. And they're all about done with their oh, little things. Oh, the foam home. Is there any way we can show, go around that way and maybe see the outside? It's in the shop. Oh, is it? Oh, yep. Oh. Yep. Oh, well, I'm impressed on that. Way ahead of you, man. Lord help us. Okay. Yep. Did you trick or treat a lot? Every year. I did too. God, I love trick or treating. I, I couldn't did wait. Too. I thought you hated Halloween. Not when I was a kid. Oh, just as an adult? Yeah. I, I got, love it. I got tricked into. Well, you know what? Back in the nineties, it went. It went uh, demon. Went demonized. Oh, stop. Now it's back. Okay, I won't show the Wow, look at this place. I didn't, I'm not going to show it yet until we get up on it. Because it looks cute. It's foam home. I love this place. I love this place. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's beautiful. Man, all right, what are we going to show? Well, when do you want to show your foam home? Hey, okay. Whatever you want to do. Now, this is Susie's other house that's leaving. Yeah, that's the one. See the, see the big window? That? Hang on, let me turn this fan off. We're getting it straightened out. Yep. Okay. okay. You ready for me to show it? Yeah, this, we'll, we'll walk away around it, all right? So now, the foam house you've seen, last time you've seen it, if you guys have been keeping up, is uh, we got to do the card things too. We're supposed to do postcards. <laughs> okay. It's going to be a disaster. It's hard to work for a living and then do this. You know what? This is bad. Um, it was all foam panels. Okay. Now you can look at it. We'll, okay. we'll take you inside. It's, you wouldn't believe how the trim's going to go tomorrow, but so it'll go quick. are you going to go done to that? No, it ain't that big a deal. Well, I like it. Ready? Yep, let's go. Oh, that's so cute. We don't have the metal roof. It's going to be on, put on tomorrow. It's a galvanized metal roof. So let's walk around, Amanda, and I'll show you. Okay. Here are the flower boxes. Of course, we'll put these up right here. So that's what we're going to have right there. All right, let me see. Isn't that neat? That's so cool. Yep. So we stuccoed it. Here's the green stucco you guys had seen. Yeah. Um, they wanted barnwood trim, so I trimmed it out in barnwood. I put soffit. So Hold I... on a second. Can everybody still hear? Ask. Can you guys hear me? Sometimes that microphone gets turned. There you go. They can all hear. All right. Okay. So... What I did is I put, this is our first experimental home with the foam panels, 
and their door remnants, if you've never heard kind of your first to tune in. So what I did is I attached barn wood up underneath the soffit, and that's all scrap barn wood. That's only about 16 inches long pieces, and that's why I keep everything. So we got 16 inch pieces up there, then you got your fascia, and then I put cedar shakes, and get this, the adhesive we use, so everything's got adhesive behind it, and then we screw it. And you wouldn't believe how the uh, screwing of the, you know, putting screws in to fasten it, mm -hmm. how it really sticks and draws into that like wood almost. So it's been really good to work with. We cut the corners. And now listen, I just, this customer wanted barn wood. You could have done dimensional lumber. You could do anything you want on the outside. They just, Maria asked, who's the builder? Did I miss that? Is Randy. Randy what? built this. Somebody asked who did this? Yeah, Maria. Says who's the builder? Uh, Maria, could you wake up here and kind of look at our show? Randy was busy this week. <laughs> yeah, I've been, listen, and it's been, I bet you, I'm going to tell you right now, if I had full days, I've never had a full day on this no, yet. No, no. Today I've been only had two, three hours. Yeah. Every, if I had just a full days, I know what you see that's done right here. I could have gotten done the whole house. I know I could have gotten done in five days by myself. Oh, I know you could have. Yeah, by myself. It's been, I can't stay on a job with everything that's going on. Oh, no, there's no way. And you parked it right in front of the office, so <laughs> big, big mistake. Yeah. Um, there's the back of the house. You can look up and see the gable. Isn't that pretty? It is very pretty. Very pretty. So look, if, you know, I put synthetic stucco around the outside. Now, mm -hmm. the building was waterproof before we even put this on here. So all the wood has adhesive behind it, and we put screws in it. Mm -hmm. Um... This is a membrane on itself. We put it on the inside and the outside. It's a, it's a rubberized synthetic stucco. If you look it up on the internet or YouTube, it I would do, it's called Stucco Flex. Mm -hmm. And if you look it up, the product's amazing. Again, we put soffit, and I think that's what's a big thing about our homes is we use a fascia and soffit, which is an overhang, all right, yeah. up there. And this is gonna have a mini split, but look at, after you put the shutters and after you put your window trim, this is all the siding you have left is right here. If you get your light, you don't have your light on, you do you? Here, let me get it. Here, I just want to see the, what do you call that? Soffit? Hang on here. I just want to show the underneath there real good. Okay. You're not direct, right? Don't show it direct. You see how you act? That's how you act right there Don't all the time. point it right at it. So you got cedar shakes, and then that's the barnwood soffit right there, overhang. Yes. And so we put, I put, I put barnwood corners on it here, uh, shutters, cedar shakes. So, and these are foam panels behind all that. Let me show this side. And then we've got, of course, the flower boxes. What's and going the metal on? Is not on yet. Yeah, the metal will be here tomorrow. We'll put that on. What color? The customer requested a galvanized, so it'd be silver gray. Galvanized, yeah. Yeah, a little bit different than what's on there right now. But what I love about this house, it's already waterproof. Mm -hmm. Now think about this. I've wired a plum to put all that. This is just aesthetics, right? So I like this thing because. We can get this thing completely dried in for you just by putting the panels up. And a person could actually just, this is all edification, you so know? So cute. It's an 8 by 18. Yep, 8 by 18. Uh, RJO? Is what yes, it is. it's an RJO, no dormers. Okay. Yep, but I put a mini split on it. Of course. And uh, it's got an electric water heater. Now I'm going to take you inside, and I'm going to show you how I wired and plumbed it. Now there's this, this is just our first one. There's a million ways of doing all this. But I'm going to show you what we did and how if you bought one just with the windows in it in a door and take it home you could work on it 
and, and put a little heater in there during the winter yeah. and work on the whole thing. You never have to worry about being wet, nothing. It's waterproof. It's right. ready to go. So, wait a so you're talking about what, a kit? If somebody, I'm just thinking about this. Now, don't be calling, you know, I don't know yet what I want to do right. on this. But I was thinking about it. Now, what I try to do is I try to do things that are just quick and easy and out the door. These are going to be model homes. What are you laughing at? Donna said, I must say Amanda looks very cute tonight. That is sweet of her to say. Oh, how can they see you? She's here. Donna. Oh, Donna. <laughs> Donna lives here. Well, I seen it and I was like. Can, I, I, was can like, I show the world what you look like? No, 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 no. 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 Okay, let's go Why don't inside. Donna say something about me? Well, she sees you all the time. Ah, I'm, I'm old. <laughs> I'm old news. <laughs> well, let's go inside and I'll show you a little okay, bit. Now, this is, this is an RJO. I'm excited. I've not been in it today. This trailer is mm. not the trailer... Been into. And in the mud, man. Oh, gosh. This is not the trailer it's going to stay on. This is a longer trailer. It's temporarily on there. We'll take it off, set it on the trailer. It okay. Needs to be. All right. So come over here, Amanda. Oh, it's Randy. Does that make you feel better? What'd she say? She said, I've seen Randy just saying. <laughs> Donna said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Donna is a favorite. I'll yeah. tell you. No reason to phone home. <laughs> So, this is actually oh, wow. something we really learned, because when I called, I had this door put in before it came here, right? Okay. Well, I did it like an RJO. Let me show you this way. Hey, look, here's my remnant on my green shake, everybody. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, when I, when I, uh, I called in to have it done, I left 24 inches from the walls. That we, well, that's what we normally do on an RJO. And then it's about 32 inches over here, 34 for door trim. Wow. Well, because the walls are only about two inches thick, they're inch and three quarters actually, mm -hmm. it allowed a whole lot more room in here. It looks really big in there. Yeah. So I actually, what we did is we framed it in. I didn't use our, our door wall system. So I, had to, I wanted to frame this in. There's a few things wise. I wanted to put electrical in here, do a few things. So you can't, you can't put wiring through the walls or oh, plumbing. Oh, that's interesting. All right? So what I did is I ran along the floor. The, the kitchen cabinet will fit up against all this. Okay. I'm going to build a box here and put our plugs in. So will it be like window, I mean, uh, oh gosh, barnwood boxes? I mean, barnwood trim? Or no, do? no, they want all nice trim nice in here. Nice trim, yeah. So we're putting all trim in here. This is going to be a loft only right here. And the lights will be right here. Oh, that so loft is big lot. as it gets. That's all we get right here. But for storage? Yeah, well, your water heater goes up there. And I'm going to build a fake wall. Oh. They can pull it off, get to the water heater. Well. Then there'll be a board across the ridge, and it'll be a ceiling fan, smoke detector, and all that. Well. All right? Yeah. Now, the bathroom is a typical RJO. I'm going to put a shower base in here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to put wood, vertical wood being groove around the inside of this. Okay. All right? So then I'm going to take the wood around here. Now, this is actually a sink is going to sit here. So I'll buy, I have... I have plumbing coming straight up out of the floor. You mm -hmm. can't come in the wall. So I've just got to box this in. i got to box this something? in. So I've... the plugs went... Yeah. Now this is what we did. This is actually yeah. what I did with the plugs. And see how the wiring... Oh. Hey, it goes up and around. And over here is our home run. This is where our panel box will be, is in the kitchen. Well, okay, yes, yes. Okay. okay. So we got a stove, kitchen, refrigerator... So the water lines, all my water is at this end of the house. So it just goes up and over and down, and that's it. Okay. The drains is the only thing will be under the house will be the drain. Okay. I started to do all the wiring under the house, and I thought, you know what? I don't want to do that. I'm going to look at and try to do something different. Right. So I made these boxes, right, for the back and behind it is electrical. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I thought, well, that look kind of neat to have this in here, right? In. Look at the boxes. Here you go. Wow. And then she can have a bed, sofa around here. I think it'll look great. I think she's wanting an L-shaped sofa. She's going to come look at it. Let me go on this side. Hang on. There's so much. Look at everything I'm walking over. <laughs> I'm trying not to fall. And then, so because this door sets in, because this is a, a jam, and this is only a thin wall. Oh, that's a smaller door, 
She, this is a two foot door. This I is the like one it. I had to have, you know, a small door because there's a stove here, door, and then you got some wall space. She's got a queen size bed or sofa that's going to come across here. Yeah. So I'll box this in for my switches. Um, mini split is attached. The outside unit will be up here. I've got a little sconce light I put in there for. Her. This is going to be a dining room table right here. Okay, so this is a rental home for them. Oh, this is I a, didn't know this that. is an Airbnb. Oh, okay. So look at this. You've got a, a little table, a little dining table. They can look out the window, and then you've got a TV that can mount here. Mm -hmm. You got a little storage that's just above the bathroom. That'll be a wall because that's got the water heater behind it, right? And then you got an L-shaped sofa that can flip out into a great that big is bed. True. So this is going to be an L-shaped sofa. Sit here, kick back, watch the TV. That way. Which way? Indirectly? <laughs> How's that, Amanda? <laughs> so you put a sofa, L-shape. I can't believe the room in this 18-foot wide house, or 18-foot long house. Let me give you the width of this, and I'll tell you the difference. Right now, we got almost 93 inches. 92 and 5 eighths, all right? 92, normally you got about 89 to 90. So we've gained, what, three inches of width. Wow. I think you can actually feel the width in here. I don't, it's so, I can't believe it feels so big in It's here. just 18 feet. So the living room, now that bathroom is eight foot long because it's got a, a toilet, sink, and shower. Let me turn back around this way and show. That just looks so... So you got a toilet now. The, so the bathroom here is eight foot long, and so this gives us. Let's see actually how long we got now, right? Got it. Right here gives us nine foot eight inches. Wow! Almost ten feet. Man, to think about this, you're in an eighteen foot home and you almost got ten foot living room space. Love it. So they'll put a little dinette table here. L shape, ceiling fan. I'll put trim up here. So it'll be, this will be a nice piece of trim that goes across. The window trim will butt, butt, cross here, all the way around, trim it out. You got your base, you got your plugs. We're all set. And you're gonna put a ceiling piece, fan. Ceiling. Yep, there's a board that goes all the way across, put all ceiling fan, across. smoke alarms. Yep. Wow. You got light switches here when you come in, all right? This will all just, it's just a box. You just put your trim, box, box. Now, Mishka said, what about the boxes at the bottom? What about, like, what, uh, I wonder what she means. I don't know. What about the boxes at the bottom? And then here, this will be a soffit area across the kitchen. I'll put two lights underneath here to shine down on the kitchen. Isn't that neat? Awesome. Yeah. I love it. So. So, in all reality, how long would it take to build one? You know, two guys can do this in a week. If we use stucco mm -hmm. on the walls instead of wood, mm -hmm. if we use stucco on the outside instead of wood. Is that stucco on the ceiling as well? I did, uh, I did the stucco on the ceiling, I did it on the walls, inside, outside, yep. Yep. Wow. And I think what I've learned is that we could actually do the stucco um, in one coat. I did a double coat because I was playing around with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've learned a few things and how we can, you know, but I think two guys can stucco the inside and outside in a day. I cut all the windows out, all the doors, set all my windows and doors and everything. That's just in a few hours. Oh, me measurements of the floor inside. Her, her video's lagging, so that's what it was. The measurements with the, with the box. Yeah. Well, we're going to build a sofa so the mm -hmm. sofa can go wall to wall above it. Oh, we're going to do a so, sofa for it? Yeah. So oh, the, wow. base, the base can stop here, but mm -hmm. the sofa can go all the way to the end. So it's not going to just stop and have a gap behind the right. sofa. Right, and I can change this design. This design doesn't have to have that block all the That's way around cool, it. Though. Yeah. So inside, somebody, she's wanting to stick me and tell me how narrow it is, isn't she? I can see where she's going with that. Uh, I think it's a good question. 85 inches. I think it's a great question. So Mr. I can make those narrower, but I wanted to put this on here to get the wiring. When you have a box under, you got to have a certain thickness of a box. Yeah. So, yeah. Man, this is great. This is the first one. And two doors, which is a favorite of mine. Yeah. Two doors. Mm -hmm. That's a cool door. It's 24 inches. Yeah. And you wouldn't have to have that door. Right? You 
don't have to have it. Oh, you mean like legally? No, I mean. You mean like the government says, hey, you got to have a door? Are you, is that what you want Is that what you're saying, is Amanda? Is that how you want to be? I don't know what you mean. You got to have a door. What I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> is that if you don't have that door, look at all the more space that you'd have. More. <laughs> okay. Next. Yeah, that right there, if you didn't have a door, it would have been a great place for a dining room table or you can leave your... Your countertop, could your kitchen yeah. could have been longer, bigger. You could have a closet there. It could have been a pantry. And this has got to be the most, what does everybody call it now? Upcycling? This has to be a, a very extreme upcycling or recycling the materials <laughs> to do a house. Oh, because it's remnants. Yes, it's yeah. remnants. Yeah. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah, I'm excited to see, you know, these folks took a chance with us because we'd never done one before. And uh, I think it's... Wow. I like it. So literally, you probably only have maybe 24 hours in it. How many hours do you, do you even have that many in it? Yeah, I mean, we're talking just this little bit here is just a couple hours. But, I mean, I've been running around looking. Uh, I had uh, Matthew... He cut my base for me and, mm -hmm. and got it sanded and ready to go, and he put that in there. And um, but he's new here; he's just learning. But he did; he jumped on that. But just a few hours doing that. Um, tomorrow we'll trim all this out. The cabinets are already done. We can set them in place. So I really think two guys, if they had nothing else to do but work on this, could be done in in five six days. And so Patrick's asking: Can the lower electrical wood boxes be made less deep? Maybe using just a three, four inch space. I just said we can do it. That's what you just said. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. Yep. You missed it. Yep. I can make them narrower. Uh, the boxes have to be so thick if you have two wires, but we can run different circuits not to have that. Right. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Good. Awesome. First one. Yeah. And we'll have a light in the bathroom and the ceiling. So, um... Yeah, I like it. I like it. You know what I like about it? We're adding a little bit of wood to the stucco. Yes. And so it gives it that personality. It you'll still have pop. a you'll still have a barn door that you can put on here. Have oh, a, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that would look great. You know what? Susie is being so nice <laughs> because she said she said Amanda and Randy on lay just saw Willow. Oh my God! Like oh my God! Whatever how she says it, but. We showed it and it was in a dark cave. <laughs> She's being very nice about it. <laughs> it's terrible what we showed. She's got Willow and Fitzgerald. I don't know what that one's called. I don't know what she's calling that. Yeah, I think is it, it is. Yeah. Because there's her husband right there. She said, I'm easy. Thank goodness. That's sweet of her. Good. And she's picking up, they're picking them both up uh, Sunday. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Let me add it. Did I show that? Okay. I'm not sure if I did. I might have. This one was total, it was the 23,000, right? Yeah. What a deal we got. That's great. Yeah, they took a chance with me, and, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, like everybody's pointed out, yeah, those boxes along the living room could be not as boxy as they are. Um, I just didn't want them tall. So we play around with different things, change some things up. Awesome. Kind of what I do like, though, is that all the plumbing is on the inside of the home, all right, behind trim. All the electrical is on the inside of the home. We didn't have to worry about nails hitting it. We didn't have to worry about going through any studs. Oh, that's so, right. so when I was doing it, you know, a homeowner could really easily wire, water, you know, wire and plumb this house, you know, if they needed to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just think of myself, everybody. This is what I think. I remember um, building my first home. I had no place to sleep, and I had to buy a bunch of, you know, scrap lumber, and I moved into it, and it wasn't insulated, and we about froze. All right, lived there eight months, little bitty house, probably big as this right here. Um, if I would have known about these homes right here, right? I could have had windows and doors and I could have put a small heater in there and I'd have been fine. You got somewhere to use the bathroom, easy going. You could even heat your water up, wash, 
and go outside and use your bathroom. And I'm talking about existing. I'm talking about having a place to be warm and dry, right? I've been to them places where it's just, I just wish I had a, somewhere I could be dry out of the rain, right? And, but you can turn it into a home. So you've got something that's closed in, waterproof, airproof, you're good to go and you can work on it. If that's your cup of tea, if that's where you're at. I think a lot of young people that are just coming out of college, I think there's no reason in this world you can't be able to get one of those things and finish it yourself. Right. No reason whatsoever. And what's cool is you can sleep in there while you're working on it. You're going to be dry. Yeah. Andrea's asked a great question. No, it's not. I think it is. I think it's great. Andrea said, how do you hang shelves or cabinets? Yeah. Great question. Yep. Those, the, the nails, I mean, the screws that we've been using in there, mm -hmm. it just sucks that wood right up on there really? into that steel. Now, what we've been doing is we've been adding, adding adhesive to the back of the wood. So we'll, we'll put some Very adhesive, idea. put it on there, and then put a couple. He, we actually use nails today, okay? Finish nails. Okay. And that's what we're doing is we'll put finish nails, but we put adhesive on it, nail it, and it's in. I agree. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's working out well. We didn't know how well it would work out. That's yeah. great. All the cedar shake, shingles up there, I've got them uh, adhesive behind them, a couple staples just to hold in place. Once that stuff sets up, it's done. And we don't know the weight yet. We'll go weigh it afterwards. Right? I'll weigh it, yeah. Okay. Um, actually, the trailer is, 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 is too, too big for the house. It's is too, she getting a trailer? It's too heavy, yeah. Okay. So we could actually lay to the trailer. It probably could even go on a single axle trailer, mm -hmm. you know, if we wanted to, the lightweight on it. That's great. We set okay. it on there with a forklift. It looks great to be the very first one, an experimental house. Oh, I just wish I had more time. Everybody, I'm, I get going here and I, what we sold, I sold the house today. Mm -hmm. I took a deposit on one today. I talked to the bank today. I talked to, I mean, it's just been going. I've been in here working back and forth, getting materials. It's always like that. It's so busy. Yeah. Believe. Yeah. And I just wish I had time. I could just stay on it, you know, and keep track of it. Well, the company yeah. doesn't grow if you stay on one day. I know. <laughs> it's just, I love doing this. I know. Um, but it's exciting to, to think about it, you know, yeah. and what I can do. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. All right. Keep going? Yeah. All right. Going. Ace, where you at, buddy? Come here, Ace. What do we want to look at today, Amanda? Uh, Mike. Mike, that's right. I want to show Mike's. Hey, let me get my light. Let me get my light real quick. Come here, Ace. This, yeah, that's called questions. a Z-strip. Tell how that works. It's the metal. Yeah, so anytime we have a transition of two different types of siding, normally the board and batten would go all the way down. Because it's not, it stops here. This is a piece of metal that goes up, over, and then up behind that wood right there. Okay. So when it rains, water won't creep back inside there. Correct. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so it, it'll come off here and, of course, roll down this horizontal lap siding. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just, they wanted to ask what that black line yeah. is Frank. Frank Whitling. Whitling. <laughs> there he is. Thank Whitl you, Frank. Whitlinger. Frank, ask any questions. I don't care to show you guys anything. Ask anything we got. That's a great question. Heating and air. You name it. I'll show you whatever. Now, these homes, if you go back probably two weeks on our videos, you will see every one of these homes framed in, wired, plumbed, and insulated. Mm -hmm. So we've been showing the progression of all these homes. All right, so if you need to look a at A couple it. more questions. Yeah. Oh, Frank and Beth. Remember they won the... I'm yeah. Sure I have got their stuff to send out in somebody else's. It's in my purse. Because um, they won the postcard game. Uh, two questions. Mark wants to know, hey, Mark, what is the lowest trailer for height to the ground uh, that you can do for the foam panel house? I mean, we could do a drop axle. Um, and drop axle. And... That's a good question because if we don't put floor joists on that, mm -hmm. we can actually put the foam directly on the trailer. Okay. 
and that'll even give us more height. Oh. And that's what I'm liking about this whole thing is playing around with this design. Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> I, yeah. yeah. I haven't had time to actually sit down and just dream and think and just talk and spend quiet time designing that thing. Um, so there's great variations about it. Now, what I like about it, see the foam panels can actually go right on the trader frame. Okay. Right? And then we can build off of that. But the only thing is our trader frames will have to, have to come out because they're cantilevered, and that's why we have a floor system on it. Mm -hmm. So all the weight is on the perimeter of the, of the home, and so that's why the floor joists go out and you set it on there. So there's just different things you have to do. If you, if you make your trader frame out wider, mm -hmm. the trader's more expensive. But if it's not have to be as heavy duty, it's all about cost and money and efficiency. And can you, uh, going into cost, will you tell the price how, what is the price, where's the prices of these homes? How can they find out how much these homes are? All right. What, what I've done right now, I've, I've priced them at our basic prices of our, without the, uh, the lumber, um, $25 a square foot lumber hike that we've had to add because of the, the pricing. Mm -hmm. So a 16 foot RJO, what was it, 20 grand? Yeah. So it's a $20,000 yeah. house with the wood trim, the stucco, inside, outside, everything done, $20,000. And that's, there's no, of course, up hike because of the lumber cost. And what size is that? So the, 16 foot yeah, 16 is $20,000. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, but that's where we're at right now. We're, that's where we're at yeah, right now. Yep. Okay. So the base prices on our website is what we can sell our homes for. Now, that's just the smaller ones. I haven't priced the bigger homes and see what we can come up with. Everybody, this is just brand new. I just sold this one for 23, but it has a mini split in it. Um, we've got the barn wood shutters and the flower boxes and the vinyl flooring inside and all that with some upgrades. But she took a, she took a uh, gamble she with took me. A chance. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so I just appreciated them, you know, wanting to go for it. Right, and extra for the shutters, boxes, barn wood, yep. things like that. Yep, yes. yep, Correct. yep. Okay. All right. So we're going to... Let's go here. And we're going to try and show Gina. Gina's asking if we can show her big one right here. We're going to try. Sure, man. We'll show whatever you guys want. I don't know if we're going to have time for a card game. <laughs> oh, it's already... We're at Maybe we can do it tomorrow before we leave or something. But, hey, you know where to do? Where to do it in the airport. <laughs> Okay, um, but that was Cabin Sacks back there. Oh, Cabin this, Sacks. This is, yeah. yeah, that's Wayne's. Oh. Yep. Um, this is Matt. You guys have we seen this. That. We showed this another day. Okay. Um, all right. This is Chatfield. Yeah, at Chatfield, and this is Ramsey. All right, so let's walk in. Let's go. Yep, I'm ready. Come on, Mander. Let me see what size this is. This is an eight by 20. Now the one, the foam house is an eight by 18. This is one Brett's doing. I just, I'm telling you, I can't get over the size of these homes. This is just 20 feet. Tell me that you can't live in here one person. Is it, can you see? Uh, can you all see in this? Indirect. Stop it. Don't you act up. How's that? You act up. I don't know what you mean. Yeah. You know exactly what I mean. Wow. Okay, so this is an RJO floor plan, and you guys are probably asking me, how can I keep saying that every day, every day, every day? It's because I like what I do, and I'm proud of this floor plan. Okay, when you walk in, kitchen to the left, right? Kitchen to the right, bathroom to the left. Yep. You see that right there? That's beaded board vertically. Yep. Right? I think it looks beautiful vertical. I think this wall looks really nice vertical inside here. Oh, that looks really nice. Uh, well, maybe we, if you could put the light in there. Hey, buddy. So this actual house is going to have... Oh, that looks really good Yeah, don't wall. that look cool? Yeah, I like that. It looks more... I like that a lot. Like old-timey, doesn't it? It does look old-timey. Now, see, that's going to have a tankless water heater, I believe, right here. Okay. Yeah, just point it straight up. Got yep. plenty of light. Tankless water heater. Oh, yeah. And it's got a sink, tankless water heater, the whole deal. Let me turn this way. This is where the toilet is, and then here's the shower. 
Oh, well, I do like that. I do, I do. Yep. And then, of course, your kitchen. You know, you have your refrigerator, your sink, your countertop. It comes across here, and this is going to have an actual washer and dryer, I'm sure, underneath the countertop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? This, I, I don't know. I just, I get excited about these homes is because this has got a washer and dryer, a full kitchen, a refrigerator, a full bathroom with a sink, a tankless water heater, and a living room that measures, look what it measures. 12 feet. Wow. A 12 a foot, foot, a 12 foot open spanned room. This one Donna has, she has an eight by 20. Wow. Yep. Mini split up here. So they did some upgrades. What they did is they put a mini split in, they put a tankless water heater and a washer and dryer. Everybody, this is why I love the RJOs. You can take an RJO and just add a few things to it that you need. You can throw a mini split, washer and dryer like she did. You still got your storage loft up here that you can stay in. Now, you gotta look at this, man. This is a little different. There's no loft above the kitchen. Oh, it's not gonna have one. No, it's only above, it only has a ceiling above the bathroom. Oh. Yep. Why is that? Just what, how they want That's it. That's why they wanted, yep. No storage or nothing. Wanted it open. Well, I mean, you got some there, you yeah. know. I really, I, I, I tell you what, if Kim's watching, Kimberly Miller, she lives here. Mm -hmm. I just said her full name. Sorry, Kim. I'm sure we've done. <laughs> I'm sure you've already done it a million times. But I want to do a show for Kim. I hope she's watching because I want to do a show. She has moved into her tiny home, right? It's. I went in there to check her new sink out. She put her own new sink. She took her old sink out, put a new sink in. And it is clean as a pin. There is no boxes. There's no storage containers. There's nothing in her house. And she said, I just don't like clutter. I like to keep it as broad open as I can. You know, so it's a different way of looking. Some people fill it full of boxes and shelves and there's all kinds of stuff. Um, but we got to see her house. What was her house? What was it? 10? We showed her tons before she moved in. It was a 10 by 22, I think. 10 by 22, I believe. Because she had a salt box and a regular dormer, two dormers on it. Yep. Isn't this nice? Beautiful. Are these right. necessary or are they just for looks? Yeah, okay. Ceiling fan, right? Sprinkler system. That's a light. No, right? I mean the, the wood. What are you talking about? Is the that beam? necessary? That right there? Yeah. Yes, that is necessary. That keeps that house from sp spreading wide open. Okay, because yeah. some of them don't have it. They don't need it if you have another loft here that kind of keeps it together. Okay. Um, like this beam here, see how it goes all the way across? Right. It keeps the house from spreading out and the roof coming down. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I thought you meant up there. No, no, no. I mean, are these necessary? The, those, what are they called? Uh, a collar, collar ties. Collar ties. Yeah, okay. we call them collar ties. Okay. Yep. But right. those. And this is Ramsey. This is Ramsey. This is an 8x16 Freedom, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, 8x16 Freedom. So the Freedom gets a dormer, a tankless water heater, and a mini split inside. You get a cooktop or range hood. This is Chatfield. Yep. So. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So that's your porch stoop. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. Mike and Chuck, they do a good job. Yeah, and they're building a home a little over two weeks, full house. Yep. Now, this customer wanted to rough saw in corners, trim on the outside. You know, you know that's a soffit mm -hmm. overhang that I think it really stands out between all of us. This whole architecture, that overhang, that all that right there is what gives this home dimension. Yeah. It's what makes this home look like a miniature cottage home that you would right. find in a subdivision. Mm -hmm. Sure would. That's your tankless water heater? Yeah, cross beams. Uh, Christine said cross beams. And also, I wanted to say, and a reason why I say Christine on here, um, uh, Christine Chandler, she said that inside the Ramsey's house up there when we were looking at the beadboard in the bathroom, 
makes it look taller. Makes it look taller. That's yeah, exactly right. Yeah, so that's right. a great point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It seems like I've seen that when I was a kid, like in, an, in a, like a lake like a, cottage. I remember when I was a kid, I really? went to a lake cottage. That bead board is always, to me, nostalgic. Yeah. That you see on the ceilings out on the porch. Yeah. Like in my grandma's home back in, you yeah. know, West Virginia and stuff. Always, I always think about a, a nicer home having that for some reason, not like a... Um, a poor uh, West Virginia hillbilly house. Well, it wasn't in my house. Is that what I'm saying? <laughs> I promise you. You had paneling. I had paneling. You had paneling. We had paneling. <laughs> was we, it? Listen. Hey, we, what was on the paneling? Listen. What? We had white paneling in the kitchen, and we had uh, half of it was white paneling, half of it was wa uh, wallpaper. Then in the living room, it was all that dark the cheapest, stuff. Paneling you could get. Did it have wagons and horses and on it? And then one wall was an accent wall and yeah. it had uh, uh, pheasants flying. <laughs> like wildlife. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So I, this. They just started this house. They always got about two weeks in a house. Yep. Man. So. Let me take a measurement for you. This is a 16 foot home, okay? okay. So the kitchen is going to go here. That's where the panel box goes right there. Yeah. So we usually get about an eight foot kitchen. All right. It'll, it'll cantilever out to, out to here. Now, oh, Marvin's over here. That's his house. Look at our Marvin. Hey, Marvin, you Marvin, just missed it. Your house. Yep, you missed your house. <laughs> All right. This is the living room in a 16 foot home. The living room is 94 inches long. So you got a living room that's almost a full eight feet, but it could have been shorter if you didn't have the sink inside here. Mm. So actually, if we would didn't have the sink, we could almost come another foot this way. Oh, wow. All right, and mm -hmm. give you more room in your living room. Right, right. Now, the home that I was doing, the foam is an 18, and you can see it had room for a dining room table yeah. and a big living room area. So two foot really makes a difference. It really does. Um, but you, but if you would have subtract that one foot for that bathroom, you know, you could have had a bigger living room here. <laughs> you know what Maria just said? This is funny. Right. She said three videos in a row. He's had his tape measure. He's changing y'all. I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting spot on. <laughs> this window is to die for. Look at that. Well, you know what? This is the first Freedom or first RJO home mm -hmm. that duplicated what I did on the very first home I did. I put two big picture windows across from each other, and we haven't done one since that I can think of. It's always been one on one side, one on the other, or no picture windows. I designed the first Was one it? with yeah, a picture freedom. window here, picture window there. The yep. American Freedom. Yeah, two big picture and windows. And you had the fixed glass that I loved up in the... The big square, rectangle. No, I'm talking place. about the first RJO. Oh, the first RJO. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but this is a freedom because it's got the dormer up top. All right. So if you go on our website, the, and it, we explain all this on there, but the difference between RJO and freedom is the dormer. The dormer is $3,500. So right there is twenty three five. Mm -hmm. Next thing is a tankless water heater. Right. $1,500. Right. Then the next thing is a mini split. Chuck twenty five hundred dollars mm -hmm. for a Mitsubishi Mini Split. Then we also put a range top and we put a cooktop in this house. Mm -hmm. All that for an extra five grand. So, if you're wanting a loft that you think somebody's going to sleep in, or you are, and this is accessible with a ladder, mm -hmm. this house comes with a ladder. The RJOs do not come with ladders. They do not come with ladders. Um, how far? What's the distance? Yeah. Jim wants to know how far off the floor is the bottom of the picture window. 42 inches. 42 inches. Yeah. Uh, can you make slide out walls on the house? You mean... I don't know if they're asking about the foam house or this house or any house. Can you make slide out you walls? You mean like a camper? On the house. Like a camper slide out. We've never done one before, but I'm sure we can, you know. Seems like that'd be involved. You know, I always ask the question, why, why do you need a yeah. slide out? Slide outs are made so you can pull them down the highway at eight foot wide, and when you get where you're at, push them out, and then you just, you're moving. It's made for an RV. Mm -hmm. 
What I always tell folks, if you're going to want a wider home and you're not traveling in it, just build it wider. Mm -hmm. Build the whole thing nine or ten foot wide. Yep. yep. And David's asking, I, I am so, which, you know, I've, we've seen them not long ago, but David and Karen are coming They're, this week. Yeah, and we won't be here. Are you kidding me? I knew it. I thought it was when we were going to be gone. What we are going to do, we are going to connect them with uh, Will and Becky. Because yeah. Will and Becky are going to be residents at the resort it's a as resort well. too. Yeah, so they need to meet and maybe they can all go hiking together or something. We sold another resort today. Really? That's yep. awesome. Yep. And I think one day before. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lady come by today who invested in the resort. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you a little bit about her. Just a real quick scenario. She's on a fixed income, mm -hmm. right? She, all of her, her last 30 years, she, what the, oh God, what'd she do? She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. She's watching this too. What did she do? I think, I don't think it was a librarian. She's probably a horse laughing me. Anyway, it wasn't a real high paying job, right? She mm -hmm. did it for 30 years. She was going to have a big retirement, but I, I think she was real smart about her money. She saved and lived very, very economically, right? Mm -hmm. So she was able to pay her house off, I think, cash in her home, everything. But now she's going to live on a fixed income. And because of the price of our home and the cost of our lots that she's living in, she said, I could not pass the resort up. That's I couldn't awesome. pass up what you're doing here. Right. She said, Randy, she's going to have like $1,600 a month coming in, mm -hmm. right? She can, she can, and won't have a house payment. So $1,600 a month, and she's going to pay two or $300 a month in lot rent plus another 50 bucks in utilities, right? Mm -hmm. And that's it. So you're looking at a 1,200 bucks a month that she still can have for food and insurance and whatever she's got to pay out. That can be minimal if your car's paid off. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it does, and I just, I told her, I said, you know what? I designed this just for that person in mind. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's, to me, that's who, I'm catering to with our prices, with our costs, what we have going on here. I want to, I just want to say what Marlena uh, Jones, she said, I do not regret, um, and I just want to make this point. Marlena said, I love my nine foot wide. There's a huge difference. She does not regret it. She said she was going to go, let's see. She said, I debated over adding two feet or making it a foot wider, and I'm happy I went a foot wider. I don't think you'll regret it. And she was talking to uh, Paula on here because they're oh, trying good. to decide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a great testament because you honestly Thank you, you Marlena. wouldn't think yeah. that that extra foot makes a difference. It really it does. It does, man. She's right. Yeah. She's absolutely right. Ten foot wide feels huge. You know, and that's why we, you know, I went with two by threes. It actually got us, you know, what, another two inches on the inside of a house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Um, oh my gosh, I thought that was... That's cool. Everybody's talking. It, they are... They did great on here. Susie, I think it was Susie that was asking, what is the standard or is there a standard height for the flip down tables? There isn't one. We usually go about, well, I usually go about 30 inches wide. It's 30 and by 30. What about up and down? Well, right? you don't want, you can only go about 30 inches tall. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could raise it. I mean, you could raise it up taller, I guess, if you wanted a stool height. Right. But a, a, a kitchen table that you set at a chair is 30 inches off the floor. Okay. So that's usually what you go by. Yeah. Unless it's specified for a stool. Yep. Let's take a look Ready? at the bathroom. Oh, bathroom. Okay. Now they've got the other water heater. What was it called? I forgot. This is a tankless. Yep. This is an eco temp. <laughs> eco temp. That's right. Eco mm -hmm. temp. It's got a sink. Mm hmm. Toilet. Yep, exhaust fan. There's a lot going on right there. There's a lot done. in this small space. Yeah, and you got to look, all the trims, but our barn wood trim around all the windows. Yeah. Now, is there a preference or is there, are they hard to get with the Eco Temp or the Easy, what were they called? The Easy something? Oh gosh, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Are they hard to get, you say? Yeah, are you guys having any trouble with getting them or? I, I mean, they're not they're as bad as, as some of the things we're getting. Like, like compost. Compo Compost awesome. toilets are like six, eight weeks out. Wow. Yeah. So if every if everything was done on the house but the compost, um, that's not a major deal. We're doing we're doing good. Yeah. We're still doing fine, man. Electrical and plumbing and lumber. We're I mean we just bought, like I said, I think y'all. 
God, thousands of two by fours. I just went and wired the money. <laughs> Does a freedom come with a fold down table? Oh, that's a step. It there does, we go. Does it? No, you so just the fold yeah. down. It's extra. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, if we could take a peek into Jesus. Oh yeah, let's go over there. And yep. this is Landon and Jacob. This is the. Uh, fourth house? Fourth house, yep. Man, gave him, gave him Gave him some money on it today. Oh, so, good. So this is a board and batten, mm -hmm. right? And you got a little stoop over the door. Yeah. Yep. Watch your step there, Amanda. Okay. It's a little riggedy. Got it. Ooh. Okay, got it. Wow, Jesus. Now this is a lot of house. Look at it. Holy cow, a 10 by 26? It's a big Gina. house. Man. Yeah. Lord. So what we do is they put in their, they'll put in uh, their loft and they trim it all out before they put their loft in, mm -hmm. which is easier to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. A lot going on here, isn't there? <laughs> Look how big this is. This is all living room. Paula said, uh, "So big, you're echoing, Amanda." Woo! I know. Wowza, wowza. Gosh. Can you tell the age of Landon and um, Jacob? Well, I don't know Jacob's age. I think Jacob is 23 <laughs> and Landon is 21. This is their fourth house. Four. They're, they are kicking it. They're hungry and they're after it. They've jumped yes. on. They have jumped on my bandwagon, man. <laughs> yep. Landon has been working on building homes for five years, and he's 21. Since he was 16 at the He graduated shop. with honors out of high school, had a full ride, academic ride to UT, University of Tennessee. He's finishing up this December, and he did it in sports business. He was wanting to work for the Boston yeah. Red Sox and all that stuff. He loves business, loves entrepreneuring, all this stuff. He's talking about all this stuff. He's funny to watch, but um, I think he's seen what's going on here mm -hmm. and he wants to be a part of it yeah yeah when you crunch the numbers everybody of what i'm paying guys to build this yeah all right this is a 10 by 26. all right if i don't right. know if anybody out there's in the partnership all right a 10 by 26 is 260 square feet right right all right i'm paying these boys 47 dollars a square foot they're making Twelve thousand dollars in building this house. That's what we're paying them, and we are what forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars less than most people. I don't know, maybe thirty thousand less than across the country. So these guys are making twelve grand. They'll not counting the upgrades. Yeah, not counting any upgrades. Certain upgrades, they get paid extra. So if there's any upgrades, if there is, they probably might have. They could get it done in three, probably three to four weeks. They'll have this done. That's, that's good money. Yes. And you know what they love about it is they do not have to call any customers. No. Nope. They don't have to look for any work. They don't no. have to do any marketing. They don't have to get their name out there. They can come and go when they want. They can show up when they want and they can leave when they want. Right. Is that not something? And Jacob has a little baby. They can work three days a week. They can work seven days a week. Yeah. They can take off a month and go to Europe if they want, and they can come back however they want to do. They are self-employed. Right. And it's you wouldn't believe that I think the actual temperament around here has changed. Mm -hmm. How things are being more organized, more motivation, more I think there's just more excitement. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Gina's house is massive. I was just in Conley's house yesterday because it's not leaving now until I think the, the end of the month, maybe the 26th or something like that, the big green house. Yeah. And it's a, a 10, 10 by 28. It's huge. So this is very similar when you walk in. Yep. You know, it all depends on the floor plan. She's so excited about it. Oh, excuse me, man. Look at me. I'm yawning. Embarrassing. That is so rude, everybody. Congratulations, Gina. Absolutely. Love it. Um, let me ask you this really yeah. quick. Mm -hmm. um, with the partnerships, yeah. do, are they doing their own wiring? Do you have to be an electrician? What is going on with plumbing, wiring, uh, 
mini split, mini things split. like that. Great question. Uh, Probably repeat it. I don't know if they heard me. Okay. Amanda asked what the question was on the partnerships about the wiring, the plumbing, the heating and air, and the water heaters, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. We teach you how to do it all. Mm -hmm. We teach you how to wire it, plumb it, uh, heating and air systems, all that. Mm -hmm. um, and that is the, the, added, the cost of the electrical, the heating and air, is on top of the square footage what we pay. Right, correct. Okay? So if they wanted to wire the house themselves, which they're starting to, the boys are starting to wire their homes, mm -hmm. and we teach them how to wire. And then there's a testing that we do. So we're testing every home at the end to make sure it passes any kind of electrical. The plumbing, we keep pressure on everything. We test it before it leaves out of here. The heating and air system has got a contained coolant system in it. So right there, it's got a contained coolant. So you don't have to have a heating and air license mm -hmm. to hook that up. It's already contained in the unit, which is awesome. Okay. So they can hook that up. That's money. That's about a $300 install. They can make that. Yep. The wiring of a house like this is almost probably another grand, mm -hmm. another thousand. So you're looking at 12, 13, 13, three. A water heater is another couple hundred bucks to install a water heater. About a hundred dollars, I think, install the gas water heater. So. And there's plumbing. And the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, let me ask these a couple of questions after that. Let's see. Oh, uh, who just asked that? I was going to... Who said that? Um, ah, sugar. Yeah, look how neatly the wires are in the box. I noticed that too. Yeah. Um, oh, somebody just asked a really good question. Now I can't find it. Hold on just really quick. Healthy competition. Uh, Maria said the partnerships have created a hungry environment for these guys. I think that's great. Um, I have a downstairs bedroom for my later years. Oh, here it is. Tabitha. Hey, Tabitha. What about the spray foam part with them? Yeah. Good question. Yep. That's awesome. You guys are on it. You're they thinking. Are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we lucked out with the Amish. Amish have got a really good spray foam company they're working with. Mm -hmm. It's really just a little bit more than what we actually, really? it costs us. Oh, good. Oregon's another story. Mm -hmm. Oregon, they're charging. We're, we're going to take a hit out there. Um, you can tell the difference in the east side of the country. To I don't there. know if it's just Portland or what, but um, they're charging almost double what we would take. So that much? Yeah, so it's, we're taking a pretty good oh. hit. So for right now, the company's got to pay that. That's the, the partnerships only do the labor. So we pay for everything. Partnerships do all the labor. So they don't pay for materials. Oh. They don't pay for anything. So... We're looking into that. They act quotes on three of the companies. Um, they may want to get their own machine, you know, later on as they go, but they're brand new. That's the only stipulation is a spray foam. Wow. So we're taking a hit on it. Uh, so hopefully we'll work it out. And again, these are things that we're learning. Um, and we're also learning that materials out west in certain parts of the country are actually more expensive than here. And so... You know, but the thing is, is where maybe where we're gonna save money, uh, if we ship a house from Tennessee to to West Con or to Seattle, mm -hmm. that's about a four or five thousand dollar shipment cost. Right. Um, so we're saving you on your shipment. We may have to take a little bit of that money and put it back into the price of the home just because of the cost of everything being in different parts of the country. Right. Yeah. And that's and David brought up. Yeah. What about the company that was leasing the spray foam equipment? They, it's just something they have to learn well, you how know, to do it. And well, everything. my right. cousin, my cousin was the one who told me that, and I didn't right. look into that right. deal. So um, I don't know if that how, you know, how readily available that really is, and that's something we do need to look into. And they, yep. they would have to learn how to do it. Yeah, and it's not, you, you've got to just know it and get down into it. It's like learning carpenter. You've yeah. got to figure it out and go. Right. Yep. Jesse, who does our spray foam here, he's doing a great job. Look how smooth it is. Oh, yeah. See how great it is? Um, how clean the walls are, clean the wood is, everything. I mean, he's just done it. Everybody, we don't scrape these walls anymore. We used to scrape them, have bags of just scraping yes. particles on it. We don't do that anymore. Everything is in there nice and good. Beautiful. Yeah. Weird. Think about it. Think about after five years where we're getting better than we were five years ago. Yeah. We're getting busier and we're getting better. Who can do that? Who can get busier and better instead of normally when you get busier, you get less quality. Everybody's right. always scared. Hell, oh, you're growing too fast, too much. 
we're growing faster and getting better at the same time. Mm -hmm. And that, that was by design that, we, you know, I've tried to accomplish that, you know. Yep. Let's get out here in the light and say bye. Okay. We've Watch been it. on 69 minutes. Watch it. Step. Ooh. Good. All right. <sighs> I'm going to put the postcards, I will put the postcards in my, um, in my bag. Hey, you could write all their names down in little squares, <laughs> and we could do it at the airport or something. We'll do it at the airport. That'd be fun. We'll draw tomorrow for the... Because we're supposed to go, I think, and land in Dallas, and then yeah. from there to Portland. Yeah. You know? um, but we don't leave out till about 2 o'clock here and get to Portland about 7 p.m. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. So, uh, but I will bring you uh, Saturday morning. Get this. We'll be arriving at 7, 8, 7 p.m., and then uh, Saturday morning, it's full on busting it. We got to get three homes completely framed, wired, plumbed, and ready for spray foam on Monday morning in Portland. And it's not Portland, it's actually Salem, which is south of Portland. Somebody just mentioned Salem. Yeah, yeah that's where we're going, to Salem. Uh, I get to see my son, Bryce. He's out there. So we'll get to see how he's doing. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I was going to tell you guys. Good. It was a good show. We showed you a lot of homes. You a lot know of homes, yeah. Yep. I wanted to show the kit, but we didn't get a chance to. Oh, that Anthony did? Yeah. Yep, that's going out. Well, uh, if I come, when I come in the morning before we leave, um, I'm going to snap some pictures, and I'll post pictures tomorrow. Yeah. So. Yep. You know, I want you guys to, uh, I don't know how you all feel about things, but, you know, we've been doing this five years, right? And somebody said tonight, are you going to do it? You're going to go on again and again, you know, and every night we go on and stuff. Uh, I'm probably a little more militant. I probably should have been in the military because I, I don't care to do the same thing a million times over and over and over and over and over constantly. And I know that's kind of part of the military, but um, it's just, I like to be creative, but I've always been to where whatever I got to do, I can do it to get it done. You know, you make it happen. And I don't know if that's just my generation or what. Will out here busts, he is on a full trot. All day, yes. just like Tom, Tom constant. Going. If you guys could just see the amount of movement that happens here. Will has brought an energy outside and in, in here, along with Tom and I, but he is having that third guy come in here. We've stepped up the game here, all right? He's had 10 years in the military. You can tell it's, he's brought it in. Some guys go to the military, you can't even tell the difference from civilian to military. Right. He came in here and brought that that uh, sequencing, all right? Move, go back, move, go back. Um, that's what we've needed. We've needed somebody on the floor, pushing, moving, going, and taking this facility where it needs to be. Our partnerships, as you can see, you met Vince and Vinny, the great guys, all right? We got Joe out in Portland, we got the Amish in Kentucky, and we're growing, and then about four guys that worked here, have got their shops out and about. Right. So we got the four here, we got the 10 inside, mm -hmm. and then we've, um, we're actually training, you know, Vince and Vinny will be in, I think, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Uh, we got a couple more guys that are gonna be building shops out around the perimeter area here, so this shop will be opening up. It's just exciting to think, and I've got some guys coming in from Fresno coming in November. And I still got to call a, a, a guy in Florida, Scott, and another guy, Mark, is out in Oklahoma, maybe coming in. So it's, it's all that timing thing. So I just wanted to say that, you know, I don't know if you've ever had the experience of being able to watch a company grow from the ground up, but you have here on this show. You can go back to our Facebook videos, how we started in Amanda's backyard, and how we're at right now, and all the, the, ups and downs of this. I've cried on here. I've gotten mad on here. I've laughed. We've had a, a great time. And that's just the way I am. I know um, I've never been one to uh, not worry about peer pressure. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. It's just the way I am and I'm going to do it, right? Um, it, it would bother me if I had people come up here constantly, but I don't read your comments. And, I, and it's not that I don't care about you all. I thank you so much. The only comments I hear is what Amanda reads. So if you come about my, a comment about me, I never, ever see it. 
okay, unless somebody tells me. Um, but I love what I do, and I think it's given all of us purpose. And I hope that you guys have got, had a great ride watching us grow. And I think we have just stepped in to the arena. We have been doing nothing but getting in shape, learning skills, honing out of who we are, and now we're ready to go to battle. We're ready to step in that arena, and now if the competition thought, if at all anything, that we were even close to being maybe a little bit of a, a nuisance to them, they haven't seen anything of what I think we could bring. Even in this time of turmoil in the world, economic distress, what's going on, the future's not solid, we don't know where we're going, but all I hear when I'm on my YouTube, I get on there in the mornings when I first get in here about 6, 6.30, I turn it on and I watch a couple guys I like watching and I look into a few things. But what I'm hearing is people need their privacy, but they're needing community. They're needing each other. Now, we've had some squabbles in here already. We've got oh, yeah. 12, 15 people here and half of them are mad at each other. All right. But it'll work itself out. You got to come there and they're working. It's working itself out. Right. Um, and you know, that's going to happen when I was a kid in the subdivision where I was at. Oh, my God, we're all, everybody's mad at everybody all the time. But you thought the world you were just glad the Johnsons were next door. You were glad the you know, you know, we got was it a uh, small street was across the street. We had a bunch of European names up there. Yeah. But even though you got mad at them, you were so glad they were your neighbor. You know, and that's what's bringing in here. Well, and too, if anything happens in the community, the community comes together. Yeah. I've actually thought about it, even though I'm not going to draw any rental from the parks, anything, mm -hmm. for two years and haven't even started yet. So after we get you all ready, it's two years before I even get any rental. So we won't have any income coming in. But I'm already thinking about how I can build this lodge. Mm -hmm. And I want to get a lodge. So if the company can make money and we can start making a profit here I would like to start taking that money and adding a lodge right here on the 34 acres because mm -hmm. I really think we need a place to hang out of course I think we need sofas and fireplaces and places to talk an upstairs balcony that looks down into a big great room I've got it in my head already how I want it to look mm -hmm. so um, if I can afford to do that I'm sure it's next year sometime uh, we might start breaking ground on that so all right I'm just that going on. Awesome. I, I want to ask ask one more question. Um, oh, and it's Sissy's question, but I have to go back and see exactly to if if spray foam will stick and stay on glass and metal walls. Spray foam will stick to anything. So it sticks on the glass. Anything. Okay. Yes. You got to scrape it off the glass. See, if, I think it had something to do with sound. Or I'm not sure. Yeah, it'll stick to anything. It'll stick to that metal roofing up there. Will it? Oh, God, you got to pressure wash it off. It's okay. terrible. It is. I have not seen it not stick to anything yet. And, too, and I want to um, say what Joy said on here, Joy MT. The hard truth is that the tiny house movement, movement is the only way many of us will ever own a home. Wow. And your ability to make, make it affordable is key. So that was very nice for Joy to say Thank that. Thank you, Joy. That's right. Yeah deal and us make money i just i hope it works out we are just now like i said we are just now i think this is like a gladiator arena yeah. we're just stepping into the fight man and we're like you know what nobody knows about us we're new on the, we're new into the arena but we are ready man we have been honing in our skills to step in and we're like all right you bring it it's time for us to go we've been tempered we've been through more stuff than i think any company in the united states have been through about getting everything done that we've had to get done i agree with that and it's tempered us i know it's tempered me of dealing with customers dealing with people that live here the drama that can go on the good things that can go on accepting things that happen natural calamity all that can happen i have learned a ton i've learned a ton about social media how to how it affects people everything about it and i think you know what now i feel charged up i am ready to go now into the next level so if you guys just want to hang out and watch us we'll bring you a show every day and i hope we can you know when we go to oregon we're going right now to go into a partnership so stay tuned mm -hmm. all next week um probably not tomorrow night because we'll just be getting there but
but Saturday we morning. Do, but we got to do the postcard, then we'll do it before we get on the plane or something. Yeah, so Saturday we'll be there, Sunday we'll be there showing you guys their facility, the guys, the men, the people. Um, oh yeah, we've got an, also another team coming on called Lone Star Construction, and they're a group of couple young guys. They're excited. They did some things outside in a home, and they are pumped up, excited, and they're going to be a local, another building partnership that's coming into play for us. Good. Um, they're young guys. They're in their mid, well, they're late 20s. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. so it's just neat being able to see people And the do last this. question to worry about Ace, where is Ace going to be while, who's taking care of Ace while we're gone? Yeah. I wanted to take them. Uh, I didn't want to. I never put a dog in the back cargo, and I didn't know how all that would work. But Amanda's daughter is going to take them home, mm -hmm. and she's going to watch them while we're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't even imagine putting a, um, one of our dogs in the cargo. I don't know. I couldn't even. And it's so long to be in there. It's like, I, I couldn't. Give him Benadryl, make him go to sleep. Oh. I don't know. It gave, I don't have panic attacks, and it was giving me a panic attack. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right. Everybody have a great right. night. Yep. I'm going to shut her down, turn the lights off. And we'll see you tomorrow. We'll try to do the game if we can. Yeah. On, if we can't, we'll do it Saturday, you know, over in Portland. You can do it while we're working or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. You know? Okay. All right. Thank okay. you, everybody. It's like, oh, we're going? Look, look, look at the dirt on his face. Look here. <laughs> look at him. Look. He's like, you got to rub my belly. Look at the dirt on his face. <laughs> Your mustache, mister. Oh, he's been in the sun. Hey, how come you don't get groomed at the groomer, huh? Everybody's saying have a safe trip, blessed trip, be safe. Good night, everything. Everybody's so nice. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to work. <laughs>